Recording in progress. Good morning, you guys. I'm trying to sit down, but my dog is sitting where I need to be. Can you move, baby? He is enjoying this spot. So, I'm going to have to resituate. He was like, I'm not having it, mama. I was here first. But hey, guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday. How are you doing? Let me know how you guys are doing. I just got back from an event that was amazing. I just talked about it this morning. This is the last week to enroll in macro mentorship. And before anybody asks, we do not have a second date for it coming back this year yet. Um, we don't, so it'll definitely be some months before it comes back. That's probably going to be the number one thing people are going to ask me this week. Thank you so much. Um, but if you guys are wanting to get in, get in. Um, but a huge conversation I was having this weekend was about how I got here. Um, I was filled with a, a room of women that were in all different levels. And so different levels, I mean, wanting to start a business, um, had started a business, had failed, quit, whatever you want to call it, three, four, five businesses, um, people making almost six figures, multi six figures, seven figures, multi seven figures. I mean, just pe people that wanted to be there just because they wanted to hear something positive and people that were like, I'm looking to get to a million, you know, this year. So such like a huge variety of people. I met so many different types of women who are doing different types um, of products and services. Um, honestly, I was only one of four or five people that I met this weekend that were even into nutrition and fitness. That is big to me. I like to go to events where it's not just the same thing as me so that I can learn something. All of the speakers were in different areas um, like healing, spiritual stuff, therapy, um, marketing, branding. Um, one was a writer, um, just completely different things. And so definitely a lesson for me to always continue to step outside of what I'm comfortable with when it comes to learning. Um, the stuff that I'm learning just for me, the stuff I'm learning for our, our clients and the things I'm learning for the coaches that we mentor. But a big thing I talked about when people were like, tell me your story, um, was how I got here, which is nuts to be sitting here calling myself a CEO and I step into that fully now. And I had a conversation with a friend of mine that where we've been friends, I think since 2014 or 15. And she was listening to me when somebody was asking who I am, what I did, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And like a few minutes into it, I was like, and I'm the CEO, um, you know, of this company. And she was just like, and then said later to me, like, did you really understand what you said? You are the CEO of this company. And when you said it and the words rolled out off of your mouth, even as your friend and someone that I've known for a very long time, and I won't get into, you know, what our specific um, relationship is because people will try to figure out who she is, but she's wonderful. She's amazing um, and has been a friend of mine for a long time. She was like, I've seen this thing from the beginning. Um, so I did go from being laid off and not knowing what I was going to do um, with my education, with my expertise, with my passion, paying bills for the family, you know, helping out, doing all that stuff when I was laid off in 2017. So for me, I started trying to lose weight. Half of you guys probably know that I've lost a lot of weight and half of you guys don't even know that I've lost a lot of weight because I don't lead with that when it comes to macro mentorship. Um, I don't lead with, I've lost 150 pounds, come join my certificate program um, because that is not the essence of who I am. That's not the only thing I am. I'm a CEO, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, um, I'm an action taker, I'm a cheerleader. I am going to be in your corner and be loyal as fuck until you get the job done. Um, I'm all of those things, but it all started with weight loss. Me spending years and years trying to lose weight, starting off 12 years old in my bedroom, trying to lose weight, 
trying to uh, march in place and jump rope and dance without my mom hearing the floor shake of me, you know, being probably at that time like 170 or 160 pounds trying to lose weight. Um, I was a size 16 by the time I got to high school. So fast forward, we'll get into all that like traumatic, traumatic stuff, some other conversation, but I lost a whole bunch of weight. Um, I lost a lot of weight and then it turned into me learning how to maintain and keep that weight loss. Um, me going from counting and tracking calories to counting and tracking macros and the people that were just like, help me, give me tips. I started coaching for free. I did not think that I was gonna be a good coach. I didn't think I was gonna be a good educator. I didn't think that I should put a price tag on it. And I didn't think that anybody would pay me if I did it anyway. A lot of you guys know that a lot of my first programs started off for $20. Um, they were near and dear to my heart because people just needed to know how to do this stuff. They needed to stop reading Women's World magazines. Um, they needed to stop doing these complete elimination of carbs and different types of diets, don't eat this, don't eat that. That stuff is still going on. I mean, the things that I'm talking about, you guys, um, this was like back in like 2012, 2013. So I decided to be a coach in 2014 just to really get a discount on supplements that I was buying for myself. I loved the products, I was in an MLM, so I was helping people for free. Um, they were really just buying the products. I got a small commission. It wasn't that much. I was never making more than $1,000 a month after being in People Magazine, after being an ambassador for people, um, doing blogging for people. A lot of you guys don't even know I was in blogs for a year and a half with People Magazine. Um, I came out in issues that rocked my world with like prints on the front. Like, I was in a magazine with prints like on the front of it. Um, and like all of that stuff did not bring me income. I didn't know how to market myself. I didn't know how to niche down. I was just trying to help people and have this as a side hustle. Well, things got really, really real for me when the People Magazine stuff um, was um, released in 2015. I pulled up my big girl panties and went to my boss's office and I cried and ugly cried all the way through it. And I was like, I have an amazing gift. I've been helping people for free or basically nothing. Like I think the year before I made like $800, but I thought I was gonna be like a big deal. And I was like, I have a gift and I think I'm gonna blow up and I have to help people. And you guys have two options. You have two options with me and you gotta choose one. So this was February, 2015. I said, number one, I can go part-time from home and continue to be a genetic toxicology consultant and also train my replacement, train staff, lead um, pharmaceutical audits for companies like Pfizer and Bayer and um, Bosch and Lom, like you name it, Adventus. Um, oh my God, we worked with like 150 different large, you know, big pharma companies. When they come in, I'll still do. The, I'll still walk through um, with the directors of these programs and have them, you know, audit our research, walk them through the labs, answer their questions. This was like a three-day song and dance um, with people that scared the shit out of me because they were just so high up and so what I thought was important to the job that I was doing as a laboratory manager and scientist. I felt this small that they were this big. I was like, I'll continue to do those things that I don't like to do, but I want to take my microscope, work from home, and continue to do genetic toxicology work there. Um, for, those, for those of you guys that don't know me, um, I have a background in medical laboratory science. Um, my favorite um, my favorite areas that I've worked in have been microbiology, um, immunology, um, also working in immunochemistry, and then working in gene tox, which was probably my favorite one, you know, but that was um, the lifetime before this. So I said, that was the option. I can continue to do this stuff part-time. I'll work at least 20 hours a week, but I want to build this other biz on the side. So option number one, I go part-time. I do all these things and be a consultant for you and take my microscope home. I'll come in once a week. I lived locally or I will stay for 90 more days until May 2015 and I'm just going to walk away. And my husband was like, yeah, I think you got that it factor. I really think um, that you're going to be able to do something major with this. And they said, okay, we'll let you work from home. We don't want to lose you. We love you. And I helped 
myself go into a position that didn't exist. And it's because I wanted to help people. I thought that I was going to be able to get this thing off the ground. Long story short, I went part-time by May, 2015. I wasn't making any money. Um, I was making more money. I had got up to almost a thousand dollars per month. I was able to help out with the mortgage, almost help kind of like, you know, towards the whole mortgage. Um, the conversation my husband and I had is like, if you can almost pay the mortgage, then that's enough for you to stay at home. We're not going to have daycare, after school care. We're going to be able to be there for the kids more, working in management if you guys have ever done it. Um, you don't know what your life is going to be if a crisis happens. If an auditor comes in and it's a surprise or if it's the FDA, I'm staying till 8 o'clock at night. And so um, I was grinding and grinding, trying to get my business off the ground. Two years, I spun my wheels. I was definitely getting better. I was definitely learning how to market myself more. I'm still with the MLM, eventually created my own macro nutrition program. Boom, that was you know, a whole other story. We'll talk about that another day. But I created um, all of those other programs, not very, making very much money. And so I said, I got to hire a coach. I am stuck. I know that I have a gift. I'm good at teaching people science-based nutrition, really making it easy for coaches, making it easy for people. Um, I need some help. So I hired a coach. Um, a lot of you guys know my story. We took our last $6,000 literally from in our account, I think a cash advance, my husband's check coming in, my check coming him in, like being like putting everything together, spent our last. And then 15 days later, I was laid off. We spent our last on my dream and then I got laid off. And so we were bought out by another laboratory because they were merging. Um, and it was pretty much like, here's your severance package, or you can work for the other laboratory, but you need to work in Chicago five days a week and basically travel, you know, um, two and a half, three hours, whatever it is, um, with traffic every single week and then be away from my kids. And I'm like, I went from working part time at home, working on my dream, and I just hired this amazing coach. And now you're telling me I got to drive every week to another state and another city. And I was like, no, give me the severance package. So I got a severance package where I think I got a check biweekly for the next four months. And that was it. Laid off, didn't know what the future was going to be, spent all my money um, on this coaching program. You, know, you guys know what I did? I was like, all right, I am going up a river almost without a paddle and I had to decide to sink or swim. I turned down doing um, the, um, you know, or taking the, the, uh, the position with the new lab and traveling every week. And I said, I'm gonna go all in on this thing. I spent $6,000, $6,000, that's all we had. And we went all in on this dream. And let me tell you, if you guys go read a couple of my last posts in the first 30 days, I made 3,300. I had never made that much money in four months time um, combined. And then I made 4,000. And then in five months, I made $40,000. Like literally half of what I was already making as a scientist. I made that in five months, my own money. And it felt damn good to not rely on a company to create opportunity and pay my bills for me. I thought up until that point that my destiny or like my future was secure. You know, I had all of these degrees. I even had my nutrition certifications, all that, all those certs and stuff done. I had like four certs by then, um, three degrees, uh, master's degrees, went to graduate school, everything. I was like a science, a job as a scientist is so safe. They're going to need me forever. And I got laid off. But when that happened, I was nervous. I was nervous as hell because we had spent all that money. I almost had this feeling of maybe I should drop out of this program and ask for a refund. Maybe they're gonna like take away 10% because we had already started for like a week, but I, I felt like, should I ask for this money back? And my husband was like, no, we're, you're gonna go all in. We're gonna all, go all in and that's literally what happened. So I created a coaching program for coaches, or sorry, for regular people that wanted to learn how to track and calculate their own macros because nobody was teaching it. Coaches were only setting macros for clients and if you do this, this is okay but I want you guys to see the lesson here. Um, but coaches were setting clients macros. They were updating them every week, bi-weekly, whatever their setup was, doing group coaching programs. But people were feeling like, I want more. I'm smart. I've done all the diets. My coach is great, but I wanna do for me 
what my coach does for me because I've never been able to be in control of my own nutrition. So I created a program where I taught regular people who had never, you know, probably even done like high level math in college, whatever, just regular people, how to do their own uh, macros. People that had never had a nutrition course, people that didn't want to be coaches. I created the thing that no one else would do and it was a springboard between me being laid off a year before and me becoming a CEO now. I created the thing that people needed the most and I didn't hold back on delivering that to them. That then turned into me doing private sessions with coaches um, and you know, coaches paying me by the hour to do private Zoom calls on how to set up macros. And I was like, all right, we got something going on here. People want this, they need this. I was finally doing the thing that people needed. I was giving coaches the thing that they needed. They needed the science-based education on how to calculate macros. They needed to learn the art of coaching. They needed to get more than 10 pages in a um, chapter of a module or a book, which you guys have that, you know, you guys that have been messaging me, it's hard to find anything to learn how to do macros. I literally took my certifications, my education, and all of the research that I probably spent, oh my God, I don't know, 125 hours and testing and formulating the blueprint for macro mentorship and then teaching it back to coaches because that shit does not exist out there. You can Google university on how to do a lot of the stuff. It does not exist. And so I created the thing that people wanted and created it as a mentorship program because people don't want to do certs and not know how to apply the information. People don't want to get a cert and they're like, okay, that's great. How do I build a business? People want the mentorship. They want to be handheld through everything. And and that's literally what I was doing with all of the business coaches that I was signing up to work with. So I could have sank <laughs> and I could have said, I'm going to take this job. I could have decided to um, take a third shift job working in a laboratory because it was really, really hard to get on first shift um, going into new companies like that. And you basically didn't have the experience, the time put in and things like that. And I could have went back to doing things like personal training, um, which was me trading time for money and not seeing my family working early because people want to work out at 5, 6, 7 a.m. And then they want to work out at 5, 6, 7, 8 p.m. Um, at night. I could have done those things. I could have took the job and traveled every week to Chicago. Lord knows what, uh, what that would have done for my kids um, and my marriage. But I decided to turn the damn thing around. Um, now we are on our way to certifying a thousand coaches this year. Um, we have certified coaches in so many different countries. This is a global program. We're backed by the National Academy of Sports and Medicine, ISSA, AFA. I was the girl that was laid off that could have just said, you know what? I am going to rely on a corporate job to determine my future instead of reaching within me to create the things that people needed and create this community that is amazing. And so that's what I decided to do. And that is how um, I eventually went from being the creator and the founder and eventually to the CEO of Macro Mentorship, which is my pride and joy, my baby. And it is the community of women that think they need me a lot, but I need them more than anything. We've got men too. Um, but this community of coaches have been who I have been leaning on um, since late 2018. And they bring bring me pride and joy every single day, seeing them do the exact thing that I was able to do for myself. But that is my story. Um, for those of you who've wondered, how did I got, how did I get here? How was this thing created? Um, a lot of people see um, CEOs and creators of companies that are growing um, quickly and people becoming su extremely successful and think that everything has been um, handed down to them and it wasn't a bumpy road. And I just want you guys to know that I'm probably just like you. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have more questions about my story, DM me and let me know if any of this stuff resonates with you guys. Um, but definitely go to gtransformationacademy.com. Check out our certification. It is amazing. We always over deliver. Um, it's an amazing program. It is an amazing community to be with other coaches who are going to support you all the way through. We will not let you fall through the cracks. Um, it's a program that you enter where we know your name. We know who you are. 
But you guys have an amazing day. Um, let me know um, if you guys have any other questions, but I will upload this for those of you guys that got on late. If Instagram is nice and lets me do it, but you guys have an amazing week. Go chase your dreams, kill that shit, and come and DM me and tell me that you killed that shit this week. All right, you guys, bye.